good afternoon ma'am good afternoon rajesh good afternoon thank you so good afternoon much. thank you so much for your availability for this interview i look forward to it and i believe that everyone will learn from it even including me so ma'am let's start with a brief introduction of yours and right right so ayush uh, i am uh, dr rajesh shuri saha i am heading the media and communication uh, specialization of the international school of media and uh, business and media in uh, nande uh, we have three campuses as you know we have it in nande uh, mulshi nande mulshi bangalore and kolkata actually four campuses four full fledged campus and uh, nande being the oldest so which is in pune so i've been here for the last 3.5 years now and uh, that's about it that's really great ma'am that's really great so ma'am my first question to you is being the chairperson of media and communication at international school of business and media what is your philosophy of pedagogy my philosophy of pedagogy is uh, uh, no ppt doing and learning so here at uh, uh, international school of business and media we uh, we do not we practice the involvement of student a lot and that is it is a very student based uh, student driven institute so definitely all our uh, all the pedagogy is case based industry oriented and uh, the, even the shaping of curriculum is you know follows a rigorous process of having uh, uh, mentored from alumni who are part of the industry and in higher positions now so the so the entire pedagogy is practice based knowledge like doing internship right so theory to hai hi theory is there to build the conceptual knowledge of the student on management uh finance on on the management principles on leadership style on different specialization and uh, areas they you know opt for but the focus is given to being smart and technologically driven innovative and uh at least have a go getter attitude so the pedagogy is very practice based that's really good and totally agree with you that practice is something that gives you the real skills to L- learn in life and to absolutely everything absolutely to- everything cannot be theory driven na yes, specifically can- mba and pgd mba yes yes you need to deep dive into the field to know skills i believe yeah 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 so ma'am the next question is how does the curriculum of international school of business and media ensure the best practice of industry as i have already said the curriculum is completely uh, devised uh by the industry people by the corporate guest talks we have and we have a lot of corporates and uh, you name it uh name any uh brand and you have an ISBNM student uh, alumna there our alumna network is 10000 plus actually so koi bhi bada uh, brand hai to we have a representative so definitely uh the placement team and the uh, uh takes care of that that the, the brands visit us i mean that our alumni visit us and in that sense you know they always there is a continuous process and also our board of directors are also a part of uh, the corporate so definitely when the curriculum is devised and all of us also uh, are from the industry we have had industry experience before delving into academic right so uh, so the curriculum again is very devised in that in in a very um, up to date approach for example i'll give you that uh, we are right now in media and communication uh, we we have branding and communication we have media planning but we also have ui ux we we are exploring user experience um, again we have business analytics as a as a specialization uh, given in uh, international school of business and media it is like the sixth specialization we have and it you know everything is very analytic driven right now so uh, we have that so the curriculum is very up to date and as i told you the uh, vision of the institute is very uh, smart in the sense it is very young 
uh, in its approach so definitely all the curriculum is has to have has to get away with the old syllabus and has to revive what is trending in business right now whatever if it could be fintech it could be market analytics it could be uh, you know supply chain operations or media uh, but having data driven um, curriculum right now that's amazing ma'am because data is the future i believe artificial intelligence and data but is is the yeah 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 absolutely absolutely, absolutely. So, ma'am, my next question is: the education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In yeah. your experience, what does a student learn in IIM? The other than- international, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going on. IIM colleges in Pune. We are very young in in our approach. We are not orthodox at all we uh, we say we have a saying here that uh, isbm is young and wild <laughs> you know and it never stops so uh, because even in the covid during the pandemic our college never stopped we had 100% placement records uh, yes and um, we we were also we would come in 30% we were all coming the staff was there because we have students we have promised uh, learning we have devised the syllabus in the way and there is a uh, there's a two way thing here we make a promise to the students that you know you will get the best of the industry here and the students also demand that kind of learning and that kind of environment which is and when i say just environment it doesn't just mean curriculum there is a lot of life events and there is a lot of life and vibrancy in isvnm we are very event driven college and uh, from sponsorships to sell which is like student sell everything you know is managed and the collaboration and organization and even the structuring is done by the students right so us in that process they learn a lot i mean we don't have to teach even management as a course they learn it in the process we don't have to teach sponsorship and budgeting uh, like of course it is taught but they they understand financial modeling in the process of doing so many things you know uh, so that is different you go in any institute a website is not devised by the student but our website is designed by our students you know the camera and everything the Uh, and i told you it's a very student centric college and uh, there is a say of the student here the student has a right to speak and uh, that is very young and that is very international i would say the benchmark we have are of harvard and we we are of all the big kellogg business schools so we we our benchmark is set in a very uh, prestigious level of all the uh, ivy league institutes so uh, we follow that norm and uh, we follow the ethical standards and uh, the freshness the vibrancy of student that is uh, completely our forte you know i's been never grows old that's amazing ma'am that's really great student get a chance mm-hmm. to be creative also i believe they're very creative they're very creative you come visit us <laughs> you'll see definitely i'll come sometime ma'am yeah So my next question is how does your institute take care of the inclusivity of students that's that's something uh it's a nice question ayush our um, institute has uh if, if i i wish i could show you a map uh, from the admissions team right now we have representative from all states all all towns all remotest corners of uh, india the placement jo uh, uh, admission process hai it goes to in all from dhiana pan i mean uh, lakhnow lahabad kolkata um, and uh, bihar patna and uh, there is uh, bangalore hyderabad so all over all over so inclusivity in sense of demography or state and inclusivity gender wise we have more women uh students here and also our alumna alumni list suggests 
that we have more women we have much more women achievers ceos and top top uh, you know levels um, of uh, their business uh, by speaking profession by speaking as compared to other b schools in india uh, isbnm has more women achievers than any other b school that is something nobody can contest us <laughs> That yeah that green. is inclusivity yes we have taken that care of that green and diversity Thank is one you. of the key factors that every corporate looks into these days absolutely absolutely we have uh, right now we had signify and other uh, you know uh, brands who had come and uh, for uh, placements and uh, they had hired uh, female uh, candidates for a uh, sales job which is i mean women don't want to do sales otherwise in in here in isbnm they are very they are taught in a way that you will be, you should be uh, agile you know agility is 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 an approach which they really take very seriously we take very seriously that whatever given the situation you 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 will outsmart or you will shine in that space so yeah women were hired in a sales job also that's amazing man So my yeah. one question to you is, how was your experience in International School of Business and Media? What was your vision initially, and has the vision uh, vision evolved over time? Yeah. So um, it, it has been a nice ten point five years. It has been illustrious. I have learned a lot from the students than me really <laughs> teaching them. I mean, you learn. when you teach that is a very collaborative effort uh, a collaborative thing right and uh, you you are given a lot of flexibility both side the faculty and the students both side there is a lot of flexibility and there is a lot of participation involved in building of the institute so both the faculty and amongst other administrative uh, roles other other administrative roles also uh our 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 and students together take care of this building of institute right so and i really like this i really like this in this process that everybody is approachable so if you are if you are from media and if you, if you need some help from the marketing the buff called marketing and media goes together or finance so there's a people teaching you we have faculty workshops and uh, you know where we learn new skills and we are taught new skills up to date skills so that we uh, we know what we can give to students students go through workshop processes as well you know business that is something when i so my vision before vision i wouldn't say my experience before about uh, uh, institute was very different because of all the institutes we come from a very orthodox in the sense um ek syllabus hota hai jo koi decide karta hai and students do not have a say in it i have after joining here i i have i have uh, experienced a very global approach you know this is not indian this is not ethnic this is a very global approach here where uh, you have a right to ask for feedback you have a right to be a part of the curriculum that is something nobody asked us when i was you know a student so who that changed that vision ne that uh, thinking changed about education that education is so much two way so ye ek take away tha from this was a take away from international school of business and media it was really nice i think that's totally uh, great and amazing ma'am like literally which <laughs> is always two way and the better you you interact the better you will learn i believe for student huh. yeah definitely So my my next question to you is what do you see as ISBNM greatest strengths innovation innovation they are fast they are innovating they are always they are not old they are not old they they are open to new newness which means digital right now international school of business and media understands that technology advancement and innovation is the key to success that it does really great ma'am some time yeah. attend some lecture in isbnm uh, you should come come you're most welcome anytime 
you should meet our president he i mean we all get inspired by him dr pramod kumar he 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 also takes our uh, workshop you know and he is a brilliant person if you meet him then you also take a bite a small mini bite from him he's very truly inspiring <laughs> so he is what he is a person who builds has built us and kept us afloat you know <laughs> yes yes well my yeah. last question to you is any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students i would love it uh, i would like to see students uh, approach towards offline learning now and uh, learn to be open to new ideas and not structured you know structured in their thinking uh, usually students we face this issue that students in, initially have this habit of uh, saying no to any work thinking ke bahut tough hoga you know they always completely say i think that negates a lot of learning in the process right uh, go out there have a great attitude say yes keep learning you're a fresher and uh, and that will be very transforming for you so and of course i told you digital digital learning is a key to success so right now in this world everybody should be digitally outsmarting each other so that is something i would love the youngsters to have yeah that's really great ma'am i would personally take away the key points from yeah. the interview sure thank you thank you I-